Got nine black again. Got to check my order here. Yeah, it looks okay. I see a paint was seized like being a silly goof doing insignificant petty shit as usual. Being a silly goof that does anything significant, profound, or, or makes videos about any profound, significant topic, even a cold commentary. So he's playing video games like a little boy, like a man child, and making videos about a little silly boy. Like you said, living like a man child, like a little boy, playing video games. Uh, make videos. I watched this movie. I like this movie. I bought play this video game. I don't like it. Okay, that is like a little child. Okay, he's not doing something important or serious ever, really. Uh, he's a chef answer. He's one of those people that talk before the same as I And uh, he can go fuck himself. He's gonna find the lake of fire for the turn that piece of shit. And that's exactly what he deserves. He's gonna find the lake of fire, that's exactly what he deserves. That's where he's headed. Like 99.99% uh, .99 plus of his viewers are headed for hell and then lake of fire. And uh, the worst of all is he could be all of it could have been avoided. Could be avoided. I should get saved while I still have time. I'm going to heaven. You're going to hell. Unless you change. Change your mind. I see a uh, disciple Matthias, who's somebody who uh, is a wicked satanic heretic, who made a video uh, lying about me, claiming that I teach salvation by works, which is a false accusation of lie and easily verified, verifiable to be alive because people can check my channel see where I give us the gospel there's no works in there ever I saw he uploaded something and uh, he does these little videos that it's like nobody watches it's not even shadow man no, I think uh, he's a low level shill that's what I believe and if that's just a paint, he opens up paint and he writes something in paint and then uploads a thumbnail, a video, be shown a picture. And uh, his reason after was, a, a real, you're not a man of God if you don't bash the church. So he's going to Lordship Salvation now, like Brian Denninger, where there's a certain thing, if you're not doing it, that shows you're not a real Christian. That's what a man of God means. Okay. That it can be part of the man of God is used as in terms of service. We are man doing God's will, but uh, the, the, he seems to have, he's a bizarre weirdo. He's a weirdo. We're gonna look at his channel, do commentary on it. Okay. For the history books, this I'm done. I put in some timestamp for this. I put in. Uh, I put something, I don't remember what I put it here. This loser here. A man that does not bash, bash the churches is not a man of God. Okay. He calls himself a prophet which makes him a false prophet by default because we don't have prophets today. We have teachers and preachers. We don't have prophets. So if you call yourself a prophet, you automatically make yourself be a false prophet because the God doesn't have prophets today. There's nobody who God has being a prophet today. There's uh, preachers, teachers, and this other 
officers, like things that God has people do, evangelists, pastors, things like this. But there's no prophets anymore. And uh, this disciple Matthias is one of these people that I believe to be working for the Gamut King Sunken program, possibly. He's a weirdo. That this would be uh, about you. So I hear his song. Uh, this is a projection. This projection. And he is kind of one of the weirdest YouTube channels ever. He just uploads these videos, and the whole video is like a picture of like a less than a paragraph of text. A man that does not bash the church is not a man of God. If you want to post things, I just want to get an Instagram and post pictures of all this. Let's go see what this silly bitch goof penguin bitch is doing. Because YouTube keeps showing his videos to me. He's being a silly, insignificant bitch man who's not doing anything significant and profound ever. He's being a silly little boy playing video games, being goofy uh, and weak. As usual. This should be fun. What is he doing? Oh, he's playing video games now. He's not making videos teaching people how to raise the stars from, how to live forever or decoding Hollywood movies from the hidden truth in there or fighting tyranny that's not what he's doing he's making videos playing video games or giving his opinion on, on, on uh, movies or games and his opinion is like very low level it's, it's nothing that's like deep quality commentary that comes out of this guy's mouth so th that's what he's up to playing some stupid video game too it's not even a good video game it's a stupid game Okay. So yeah, he's a, he's a weak man, and this is who didn't even go to prison in front of you because they weren't meant to be like this guy. Weak. Let's see what uh, Reuters have been up to. Reuters have been called to the stand here. It's gonna be some fuckery. See what the fuckery is. Here's the fuckery. Greta Thunberg interrupted on stage at protest. Well, she's a shield too. She's a control opposition agent. She's serving the establishment while pretending to be anti-establishment. Okay. She's a rebel of a controlled false cause. She's serving the establishment by like pretending to be against it. It's like. You t took my childhood, global warming scare, we need to tax the earth and go green, which is what the Illuminati that control the world and the UN are like, we want people to be like, the earth, we need to save the earth. And it's like, I'm rebelling against you by promoting the agendas that you want promoted. Okay. Okay. Fake anti-establishment agent. The system, the new anti-establishment is fake anti-establishment. Andy Tate, cheap carbon like knockoff of me, uh, Shell Snitzer. It's like the, 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 it's Alex Jones. Alex Jones is control position. Julian Assange is control position. No, Andy Tate control position. Greta Thunberg control position. I'm not been listening. I told you for a climate demonstration, not a political move. Oh, 
this could be scripted, like all the world's a stage. Okay, this could be scripted. This could be like a scene in a movie where this was planned, the scripted ways. But in this case, an actor is working for the same people Greta Thunberg is working for. It's like, let's have this play out on the world stage today. Hey, Greta Thunberg, get up and talk. And then this guy will go up and interrupt her. Justice. Uh, that, that, that's an agenda promoted by New Good Order. New Good Authority is like, I'm going against the establishment by being a, a, a climate activist. That, that they're promoting that agenda. Remember that the media, the role of the media is not to inform you, it's to control you, your perception, your mind. It's not to uh, inform you about things going on. It's like the Reuters and other media stations, what they're doing with Apple, the report is work to control the public. Just like they do with shell funds like Charlie, Penguin C, and uh, Alex Jones and Andrew Tate. It's not the, 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 to serve you, it's to undermine you. And these people that pretend to serve you are wolves in sheep's claw, like Shell Snitz or Alex Jones. And Tate, uh, Greta Thunberg, and, and these other people. Even the fake and the stash, it's like they're not there to serve you, help you, to strengthen you, as what I do. They're there to undermine you. That's why they don't tell you what you need to know to protect yourself from the satanic onslaught you're under. So you listen to Penguin C, and you're under attack with poisons, and Penguin C is not warning you about it, and teach you how to protect yourself. So he you gets you to watch his videos and waste your time on, on you, like, meaningless shit okay and you're not hearing what you need to hear that's that's how they control it that's part of it we're dying Climate change drove deadly winter heat in South America. Look how they're promoting the global warming agenda on Reuters. Climate change drove deadly winter heat. Deadly winter heat change. It's a survival threat. Say. This is a danger to your survival, the global warming thing. It's something that can kill you. You should be concerned about this. Be afraid, be very afraid of global warming. It's deadly. See, it's a deadly heat wave caused by climate change. See, and then Greta Thunberg. The same news company is like, look at Greta Thunberg, the climate activist. It's like, uh, global warming, the global warming agenda is something they use. Uh, the Bible teaches that as long as this world is here, there's going to be winter and, and like different seasons are not going to cease. So you're not, you're, it's like you're going to keep having seasons. Dude. And uh, it's, like, it's like, this is a fake, it's like global warming scare. It's like they, remember, the whole agenda is a control agenda. Everything they're doing is to control the masses. It, it's not, and they sell it to people as like some retarded idiots that are blind. Like they buy into this shit, like Karens, like normies. And it's like, yeah, we should save the earth, and we need to recycle, and we need to save the earth, and things like this. And then it, the whole agenda is to fucking control you. The, the Satanists don't give a shit about you or the climate or something like this. They, what they're concerned about is controlling you. And they'll use uh, your concern about things. And most people are fearful cowards and weak. So it's like they, they, they reduce fear, see? That's why they're so easy to manipulate, because people are fearful. So a, a big tool that they use is fear to control the public. It's like, be afraid of this 9-11, terrorists are going to kill us all. We need to give up your freedoms and we need to put the war over here because uh, otherwise you, you might die. It's like they use fear. Fear, okay? The fear is one of the major tools, like the manipulation tactics. You so scare the public into accepting the agenda that they want. Like, we're all gonna die unless we stop global warming, okay? 
and then whatever the, the, the uh, problem actually is, whatever the solution that they provide is, it's like we need to have a 15% carbon tax on our sellers or players. I was watching a video the other day, the challenge disaster. I've looked into this. There's myths about the challenge disaster, where a lot of people believe that the challenge disaster that happened in the 80s sometime, when they had a school teacher there, and uh, going from memory now. It, it, uh, it, it wasn't really a true explosion, but the uh, liquid oxygen was ignited. It was like a ball of fire and the cockpit broke off with the people still in it. And something that a lot of people believe is the explosion killed them. When they saw this big fireball, that's when they died. That's what people saw when they looked at it. And this is what people still believe about this, a lot of people, that the astronauts died as soon as, as this like, big fireball happened. When in reality, most likely they would remain alive until they impacted the ocean like two plus minutes later, okay? Uh, so the cockpit of this spacecraft broke off and then fell by gravity, plunged into the ocean and impacted 200 miles per hour, I think. And the negative, like the rapid deceleration would crush anything inside and kill them then. And it's possible that at least one of the astronauts was conscious and alive all the way until they impacted the water. But this type of stuff where people are so weak that they don't want to believe. I looked at videos about this. I do. I get interested in things and I watch go down rabbit holes. And I've seen the comments on some of these videos of people like, they have a need to believe that they died instantly without pain. Okay. And it's like, no, no, no. They, they were knocked out when the explosion happened and they died then or something like this. Because it's, and it's like, it's the fear for weakness where people have some kind of need to like, they can't accept that these people were consciously falling to the ground knowing they're about to die and then died. Somehow that's too, they're too weak to be able to accept that truth in their mind, a lot of people. But uh, the, 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 the astronauts remained alive until they hit the wall, is what really happened. They remained alive, the astronauts, in, in the Challenger, the Challenger disaster. They, they were alive. Now some of them might have been unconscious, and you can't know how many of them, if any, were conscious, but they were alive. Their bodies were alive when they impacted the, uh, the ocean. And I thought about this where uh, it's like you, they, I could have diverted this disaster if they would have taken orders from me. Because I would have had a drogue chute built into the uh, cockpit, like a drogue uh, parachute. That would be how I had done it. So if you look at this now, like what could have happened to have them survive the descent? Okay. Well, you could have it because it broke off naturally. And you could have like blast doors at the back of this. So it's made, it breaks off, okay. And then you have like a button you can push that blows out like an explosion, a gunpowder, kind of like an air, uh, airbag in a car. But there's an explosion that, that inflates this thing. There's an explosion that shoots out like blast panels. So the panel, the back of this, okay. Uh, hold on, I'm going to show this to you. Here. Here. Here's the cockpit. Here's the cockpit. Okay. Here's the uh, oxygen. Here's the solid rocket. Rockets here. Two solid rockets. Okay. It's basically like oversized border rockets, okay? Here's the uh, cockpit. They could have this part of it. They could have a, this, it could be titanium, and they have a panel here, and they have explosive charges, or it could be like pistons, like pneumatic or hydraulic, or whatever, where it will free itself, blow itself free from the, uh, the rest of the diffuse software, this part of it. So in case something happens, they can put a, push a button inside a cockpit 
and this breaks free pushing the button breaks the cockpit free from the uh, rocket engine it's uh, plural like the uh, liquid like this part of it boom it blows off then there's a drogue chute there's a parachute that comes out here and breaks the uh, slow sound the descent and it sails to the bottom of the ocean it's like it's simple they could have something at the back of it where they push a button and it blows the cockpit free breaks the, the fuselage off from it like a one of these lizards to have a detachable snake and it saves the lizard's life from predators trying to kill it okay so they had a back of it be they could have like weak salt to prep it so that you push a button and it cuts off like blasting charge or something like this it cuts off the, the 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 engine the biggest part of it from the cockpit it, it frees it okay and then the second stage either it's already deployed or it is a second thing we push another button at the right time maybe wait until it's stabilized and it turns nose down and then they push another button and like the the uh, airbag in the car is an explosion psh, that inflates it you push a button and it blows out psh, like a parachute and then that slows the descent and it sails down into the water that wouldn't be difficult with NASA engineers but it's kind of stuff they cut corners and don't do things like this but they could have done that okay it's like they're cutting corners it's kind of like, kind of like the challenger is reminiscent of the submarine of this millionaire where it's like oh you could have avoided this but they were cutting corners they didn't spend money on making it safe in this way that way and the other way and they could have made it a lot safer you just add this change the design or something like this and it's just like no we're not going to do it and it, i wouldn't be surprised it was like planned as some kind of sacrifice lunar sacrifice at this point i wouldn't be surprised okay one of their names was Krista, so it'd be like fulfill the sacrificial Christ dying. I, I understand the language, okay? So this gets a little bit too deep. But the names, they encode names into different events. So it, they, they did that. They like typecasted people based on their names, most likely. Even if they didn't have Christ into space. See, they're sending some, somebody ascending. What is it first? They descended. This type of shit that they do. So that mirroring that. They were sending Christ into the heavens, okay? Because that's what Christ did, the mirror that, we're echoing that. Where Christ went down from space, okay, from heaven, down on earth, walked around, he fulfilled his ministry, and then he went up to heaven again. So one of the teachers' name was Chris, Christa, Christina, Chris, Kristen, something like this, with Christ in their Christ-based name. Uh, so it could be that they planned this to happen, and it could be like a complete bullshit, but they actually had some kind of, they had it rigged that it did have to blow. And it was planned as some kind of human sacrifice. And if you, that's too hard for you to believe, go back to bed, America. Okay? Because they did that with 3,000 people planning the events. 3,000 people dying in fire on 9 11 as a sacrifice to serve their purposes. That's who you're dealing with. Okay? Who are resting out against flesh and blood. These people are satanic secret society members to serve Lucifer, worship Lucifer. And they sacrificed 3,000 people on 9 11 and had them die like a torturous death. To just to just sacrifice them literally as a sacrifice with like the numerology and they fulfill like the phoenix rising out of the ashes that's according to 9 11. i see that i've decoded 9 11 before where the two towers are represent the jaw queen and boas pillars of freemasonry the north and the south polar opposites north and south polar opposites okay and the north tower this and the south tower okay Jaw Queen and Boaz, the two opposites. That's the Emi Freemasonry, the two pillars. So they have two pillars with human names, Jaw Queen and Boaz. And they're like the opposites male, female, black, white, duality, light, dark, good, evil, things like this. Male, female. And I've caught a lot of foreshadowing where I've been able to decode this, like the 9 11 uh, sacrifice from the like esoteric what they were doing. So one thing they encoded is the phoenix right out of the earth, rising out, out of the ashes, okay, which is like an occult esoteric thing. So they bring things down in fire, and then out of this, they raise a third tower out of the rubble and the fire and the smoke, okay? One World Trade Center is part of the One World Order agenda, okay? There's like a milestone in their New World Order, One World Government, One World Leader agenda. It's like a milestone towards the, 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 the working multi-generational agendas like a lot they project forward into the future 
Uh, so basically, Freemason, Jock Queen, and Boaz, two pillars is a Freemason thing. What are they? The opposites, okay? And I've decoded this when the Holy Spirit drew me to take a certain video always in the spirit of an expert pilot. Uh, the Holy Spirit unlocked my eyes. First of all, the Holy Spirit drew me to click this video where I felt attracted to it. I clicked it, and then the Holy Spirit helped me see things in there. And I found uh, Foreshadow 9 11 in the Always movie. It's an airplane movie in the 89, I think, same year as I was born, uh, long before 9 11. Also in Die Hard uh, movies, I've seen things. But uh, an original find that I was watching a movie, the Holy Spirit led me to click it and unlock my eyes. I saw something there. And it's, uh, I could see Forza 9 11 in that movie too. <coughs> and they're using opposites where they have an ear uh, strip. This type of stuff that Charlie C doesn't do, this called movie com commentary. They have an airstrip on the scenes, they have an airplane flying towards the airstrip, and there's two men standing in the uh, airfield. Okay, airstrip. And they have balloons in the color of the American flag. And one guy is fat, one guy is slim. So that's opposite body shapes. Fat, skinny, like fat, thin, okay? Opposite, see? They, they, uh, and they have an airplane flying towards these two men. They represent the two towers. Two male named pillars, Draw Queen and Boaz. So the two men in that movie represent the two towers, which in turn represent the two pillars of Freemason, Draw Queen and Boaz. So they show you two men, which is roughly the number 11, see? Two men like this standing in the airfield. They're holding the American flag. Basically, what they're showing you, the corner that scene, boiling down, what I see it's America will be attacked by an airplane flying into two towers representing Jockey and Boaz. So they hit this in plain view. Uh, and then they show you in sequential order, I decode even more, chronological order. So, first they show you the 9 11 attack before it, it happened, like 20 plus years before they pulled it off. Two men standing in an airfield, an airplane flying on collision course with them, they jump out of the way, which symbolizes the two towers being taken out of the way, removed by the airplane. So it's like an airplane flying towards them, and like, whoa, it's gonna hit us, and they jump out of the way. The two men in that team represent the two pillars, Jockwin and Boaz, which in turn, it's like that's what the North and South Tower on the World Center represented, opposite, see? Opposite, and I've decoded a lot of the moves with Forza 9 I can see the same Freemason, like esoteric normality. Jaw Queen and Boaz. So remember, the two towers are the two pillars of Freemasonry, Jaw Queen and Boaz, which are opposites. Okay. Fight Club. Where is my money? Where is my mind? Pixies. Do, do, do. And that scene is two opposite sexes, male and female, holding hands, making the Freemason M by the way that their bodies are aligned when they're holding hands. It creates an M shape. Two opposites, gender, see, polar opposite genders, male, female, looking out the window, seeing a controlled demolition of a building going down outside, fight club. Once again, opposite, see, two human beings, male, female, opposite genders. Always movie, uh, it's opposite, it's two men, okay, still represent the two towers. So this is how they do things, hiding in plain view, I can see it. We got one that they can see, that's why I'm talking because I need the matrix and I can see things. And they're worried about, I know you're afraid of what I can see, but I'm going to show these people, like in the Matrix. Uh, that's why they had to work hard to hide uh, me from people and uh, attack me and things like this, to try to make me less dangerous to them. But I've remained dangerous to them. Anyway, here's the point. So, uh, two opposites. One fat guy, one slim guy. Opposites. Die Hard movie that contains foreshadowing. The Die Hard movies, okay, that contain foreshadowing 9 11. Still opposites. Two men, see? One black, one white. Bruce Willis white. Samuel L. Jack, no, who is it? Samuel L. Jackson, I think, who plays the black guy. And he doesn't just play a black guy, he's a black guy who plays somebody in the movie, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, and what is that? Opposite skin colors. Black and white, duality. Male, female, fat, thin, different movies are called Foreshadow 9 11. It's, it's the opposite. Two, one man, one woman, they represent the two towers. Opposite sex, opposites, north and south, opposites. Okay, Jockin and Boaz. Male, female, one movie, that, a fight club. Male, female, opposite sexes, duality, unification of opposites. The make of itself of twain, one in man. Okay, that the purpose according to the lecture might stand, as he said this. The maker of himself of twain one new man. Or maker of himself of two towers, one new tower, one world trade center. This I can decode it. 
he's the same. So, uh, Fight Club, opposite sexes, male, female. Always movie, opposite bodies. Fat man, thin man. Die Hard, black man, white man. And all of these movies contain foreshadowing. He didn't claim to be truth about the 9-11 attacks at the same second to Hollywood plan in advance. And their MO is to hide things in plain view. I've, I've told you this, this is fundamental to you being able to get to any level of decoding, is to have a chance, okay? Is you have to uh, understand as part of it, to be able to decode this world system matrix. To have a chance to do it, you have to understand that the Satanists that control this world, the Illuminati control everything. Hollywood, the music industry, the media, school system, big pharma. And they have this MO where if they're doing something of major consequence, destructive con consequence, or they're planning to do it, they have to warn you ahead of time. That's the MO, that's what they do. If they're planning something of major consequence, something big, that they're planning to pull off or are doing to you right now in the public, they have to like hide it clean, they have to let you know what to do. Like indirectly at the least. That, that's how they do things. So it makes it easy for people like me to be able to uh, f figure things out. So, um, in the, in the uh, Die Hard movie trilogy, it's like there's a terrorist that has hidden explosives is the plot in, in buildings in New York. And that's how they brought down the two towers on 9-11 for real. It wasn't the airplanes that brought down the towers. It was controlled demolition charters, explosives planted inside the buildings. So the Die Hard movie plot, Simon says, is a terrorist that caused these two men and they had to solve riddles, cryptic communication, hidden. What is a riddle? It's, it's something that is given to you and there's meaning in there, but you have to decode and decipher it to find, oh, I found this thing in here, this is what that means. So it's like, okay. Um, and he gives them riddles, Simon says, okay. And part of the plot is this terrorist has hidden explosives inside of buildings in New York, like schools and like public places in New York, inside of schools and public park. And they have to solve the riddles to keep the explosions from going off. Which is them telling you, like this movie, it's enough for somebody to be able to decode the different movies and be like, they're gonna blow up the towers of 9 11. They're gonna blow up buildings in New York at least. I'm gonna stay away from New York. And you can keep yourself from being blown up by these bombs. Okay. If you decode the, the movies. Um, and. Uh, one of the scenes, Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis, a black and white man, is sitting on top of a pile of explosives inside of a barge in New York. And they changed to a steel girder, okay, like a Lord brain being like some kind of steel thing. And it, they're handcuffed to it. They, they represent the two towers that were sitting on top of a pile of explosives. See, there's a scene where Samuel L. Jackson Die Hard 2, I think it is, uh, with Avengers, whatever it was, the Die Hard, one of the Die Hard movies, where Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis are chained to a steel girder that represents the Lord Brain beams that they put explosives on in 9-11. Okay, the steel girders are the buildings, the internal skeleton of the building. Um, not the exoskeleton that on the outside, but the, the, the internal skeleton of the building. Um, so they, they, they show you that. So basically, the terrorist had captured him. He puts these two men on top of a bunch of explosives on the rig to go off. And there's a steel girder that they changed to with explosives under it. And he's sitting there and had to crack this, like, pick the lock until the bombs go off. That's like the deciphering decoding. So anyway, you don't understand how frustrating it is to be me in this world, being as a seeing person. It's like the guy not showing the auction moves, but I feel like a lot of times. It's like being a seeing person, like me in the Matrix, where I'm in a world full of blind people. Even people who are like Christians are supposed to be able to get what I'm talking about. Even like Christians are conformed to this world. To the level I try to tell Ed and Ed all these things, anything but like the truth, they, they're not ready to receive it. Okay, they will think it's crazy or something else. Um, but now life was an inside job and they lied to you and they planned in advance. So this is what you get, already proving everything I've been saying. I talk a lot of shit, I'm back it all up. This is more interesting, profound and deep than like the commentary on movies and video games that you get. It's a, undeniably at a higher level than what Penguin Bitch does. I mean Penguin C, Zero, the normal zeros. Um, he's a zero, I'm an individual. And I'm switched on. Uh, there was a point in time where I believe the gospel became a Christian. 
No, no. At that point, you, you go from being a zero to a to a one, like zero and one in electrical, like the computer code is like on off. So one equals on. Okay. Uh, I've also caught foreshadowing of the pandemic. I made videos about that. I've shown foreshadowing of the pandemic. There's something else I can see. And a big part of what they're doing to, to keep me not from, from being able to uh, like bust the whole system open to the level that I could is like keep me preoccupied and busy by attacking my private life. So it's like divided attention. It's like I constantly have to, to like pay with blows from the, the targeting, attacking my private life all the time. And then deal with the uh, targeting that I see. But anyway. If you're a Christian, uh, you should be able to start understanding things that I'm sharing with you. This world is run by satanic psychopaths that control the world from behind the scenes. If you want to live a lie and, and cling on to the delusion like a repeat from the three and believe what humanity you won't for and fall for the Trump deception like a blind idiot that you are. You can go ahead and be that pathetic person. I'm a man that, that God has shown the truth to, not a blind fool, foolish person. It got to by Trump, I wasn't. I saw him for what it was. Now, first of all, zooming out, not just look at one politician, the whole political system is a scam. Hideo Kojima video games have this hidden in plain view in the video game. Uh, what is that cutscenes in the movie? talk with the press and where it goes, I'm just a figurehead. That's that's this type of stuff as I talk about the movies with the hundred plain view truth about 9-11. Okay. Uh, video games. MGS, Metal Gear Solid. I don't remember if it's the one or two. I think it might be the first one, actually. MGS 1. And uh, there's a cutscene where they talk on a codex, see? But it's cold, they're hiding that in plain view, too. So for people like me to be able to let you know this code in here, like codex, you, you, you're deciphering communication by a codex. In the video game, understand? You understand how you communicate with your superiors is via codec, but it's like there's things being broadcast, information. But the snake needs to have a codec, and then he's like needs to type the right frequency. Now he can receive this meaning and understanding, this communication. So this is called a codec, the communication device you use to receive communication information in the video game. Okay, okay, snake. Uh, so there's a there's a cutscene and that's that's hidden in plain view truth. Now that's not I didn't see that and then that's what made me think politics is fake. The Lord showed me that. That the uh, political uh, game is, is, is a scheme, it's it's designed to control the minds of the public. That's part of how to control the masses. It's like here's how things work, people. It's like politicians and the Congress and things like this. Presidents are puppets. Let's find a clip actually. I'll show it to you. This is too deep for a lot of people to uh, to receive, unfortunately. You need to get off the sugar so make it also about MC to have a chance to be able to receive some of these things that I'm talking about. I'm not joking. But you can come back and thank me later after you wake up and can see it for yourself. Some of the things I can share with you. Or you can remain asleep. All I'm off is the truth. The reason I'm told is because I'm dangerous to this attack the world order. See? 
I see things for what they are. Look at this. I think I have one of my clips. Your clips, yes. Here. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm just a figurehead. Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. Okay, that's code. Okay, decipher that. The Patriots, the Lali Lulilo, the Illuminati, the Deep State, the Globalists, the Cabal, the Elites, the Satanic Power Elites. I call them the Illuminati sometimes. In the video game, they use the word Patriots. The Patriots. <coughs> Those are, that's a reference to Illuminati, what I call the Illuminati. Some of the founding fathers are Freemasons, at least one of them. Secret side member. The Patriots? The truth is right. Behind this country. This is not all the snake, this is right. A-D-A-C-G. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their... Ten, five, six, ten, F-A, six, ten, sixteen, seven. ...existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy... See, this is the truth here in plain view. This is how the world really works. And this is me telling Ed come to this comment section four or five years ago when he's promoting Trump and he's 60 and a Bible teacher, quote unquote. And God un unlocked and showed me the truth when I was a young man, before I became, before, when I became a Christian before I was 20 years old. God opened my eyes to this, like the fakeness of the world. And it's been progressive revelation where I've had a more deep and deeper understanding of things. But I realized this because I was 30 years old and I didn't have it voted. Okay, I haven't been voting. but. Ed makes it to 60 something and he's still buying into this delusion. See? He's been tricked, this fucking idiot. He's buying into this delusion, head of P53, where he's like two, four, three, four, four years ago or something. Around four years ago, he makes videos promoting Trump for president and he will need to take America back and he's gonna make America great again. He's still buying into this. It's like me, it feels like a grown man and seeing a guy is like a, a child, it's like still believing WWE wrestling is is real okay wwf wrestling is real it's like no no no, it's rigged okay this is not real it's like no 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 stone cold steve austin is gonna <laughs> okay oh this is frustrating i have more understanding than my teachers see i have more understanding than my teachers i mean I, there was a point in time years back when you said listen to this guy i think thanks Economy. They can this is the truth hidden in plain view. The Satanists are not letting you know this hidden in plain view. Okay? This is how the truth really works. Just like I've shown you in movies, when they hide in plain view, his brother going to do 9 11 in the 70s. They were going to blow up two towers. They were going to go to war. It's like they, they hide things in plain view. The truth. That's how they do things. That's the MO. And here they are telling on themselves, letting you know in plain view in the video game. Here's how things work. The Illuminati control everything. Politics. Presidents are just puppets. Politics is a charade, a show. Okay. Control it all. The Illuminati control politics, the military, the economy. They control it all. They even choose who becomes president. We want Trump to be president. I can go back and show you foreshadowing before Trump became president. You can see what they're like prepping to have him become the president of the United States. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots... Patriots, a code word for what I call the Illuminati. What some people call the Cabal, the Elite, the New World Order. Okay? Dear child has many names. Um, that's Illuminati. Okay? And people that are crazy, like Ed, will be like, You Mike, you're crazy. You read too much into this video game. Ha ha, Mike. Mike, oh, Mike can see the Empire Store Clothes, haha, ha, he's crazy. Mike, uh, Mike is crazy, he plays a video game and he thinks that 
you know, it's real also but it's, it's like you don't understand how pathetic you are and the guy will hold it to account if you're a real Christian for mocking somebody speaking the truth to God has showed them so God keep keep uh, playing it in a way that's gonna make you lose let's rule this country now <laughs> hard to believe isn't it like it would be from the three. I came and told him it doesn't matter he votes for politics, it's a scam, Trump's a puppet and say all over. You're all wrong, but okay. Rejecting the truth. But it's the truth. It's hard for people that don't love the truth to believe. People are having problems with the Lord. They have they're not in touch with the Lord. They don't hear from God. That they don't have the God unlocking the minds to things. They're not walking in tune with God. They're not in touch with God enough to where God has opened their eyes to his medicine, how you need to take care of your body. It never like, oh, I got it. I need, I start, need to start taking six grams of RMC a piece a day. Okay. He hasn't woken up these things. He doesn't see the things that I see. And it's like these things, he should be able to be a Bible teacher. But he's a fraud. He's a self-styled Bible teacher. He's doing this in the flesh and his ego for recognition. Okay. He's not doing this because God is motivating him to be a Bible teacher. This is it's not, he doesn't show any gift of God in what he's doing. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to. See, it's like Trump, it's like going on a press conference. Also, I've decided to sign this presidential decree. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna build a wall. I'm gonna make these people in Flint, Michigan, keep the jobs, the coal miners or whatever. I've decided this. I'm signing into this. I think he got told to do this. He doesn't run shit, okay? He's a puppet. Presidents are fucking puppets. They don't run the show. They're actors that are part of the stage play, understand? On this, all the world's a stage and they're all actors, understand? To me, was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the paper. Yeah. So this is how the world goes. Congress go back and forth and they're holding and saying, so this is the president and this, this is how the world comes. Well, this is how the world works. The political process, that's what changes the country. It's not that the Illuminati are like behind the scenes deciding, let's have this happen within 10 years. It's what the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12, so kind of round table. 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a plain piece. Like Andrew Tate, he's a piece on the check where I did call that to with a Highland in plain view. He tweets a bit of sermon by head 33, 33 free Mason column card number, gas cast and card specifically. And then they show in the rules report him wearing all black, black piece on the Freemason checking board. This is all fucking fake. And the is a pawn in the game. His logo, name logo, is a horse, a Freemason checking piece. Do you have any idea how dangerous I am to these people? I'm the one person in this world right now who is the type of person I'm like the real deal me in the Matrix guy. That I'm very much dangerous to. That's what I have to work so hard to hide from people. 
and work to control people's perception of what I'm doing and work to destroy me, okay? And uh, they eventually take me out, most likely. They're gonna keep working to take me out uh, because I'm very dangerous to them. I see the world for what it is. I know what they don't want the masses to know. And this is dangerous to them. They don't want people to wake up and be unplugged. I wanted to leave my can never become as a result. Yeah, so you can watch the video I posted on my community page. This is how the world really works. This is how the world really works. Uh, let's watch the uh, video. So, how the Challenger disaster is reported to have happened is some O rings came loose. Some O rings, due to the heat, some kind of temperature problem, it was too cold, or too hot. So, the O rings became loose, like the rubber seal or whatever the O rings, and it started leaking, and then it got ignited, and then the whole thing, like, like a flash fire. And the uh, cockpit broke off, and then the and it took, I think, two minutes, 40 seconds, or something like this, two minutes, around two minutes, before the cockpit hit the ground. And it's highly possible that at least one of the astronauts that ended up being in the ocean was conscious when they hit the uh, water. There were some things inside of the cockpit where they found that somebody had turned, after the, the uh, cockpit broke off, somebody had turned something inside the cockpit okay some controls have been manipulated that indicated somebody had been conscious and and uh manipulated the controls after the uh the break off here I would not be surprised if this was like 9 11 or what they planned this in advance. But like the, just like the official stories, like this is how this disaster happened. And it, it is, it, I mean, they could have had like a blasting charge inside of the, uh, they could have put uh, like a bomb, a remote control bomb, inside of the uh, hydrogen, uh, the liquid oxygen tank, some kind of igniter, remotely operated, and they push a button and they blame the O rings, see, like they blame the airplanes false attribution. I'm starting to feel like it, that could have happened, where it could have been like a sacrifice ritual, like an Illuminati sacrifice, and a national trauma, to create a national trauma. They're about traumatizing the public and things like this. They have the national trauma, like 9-11, that they, that, that they planned, and then they use this trauma. It'd be interesting to look into what they did right after that, what happened right after the chance of disaster. Or if they just want to traumatize the whole public to keep them like off kilt or whatever they're making some moves or whatever they did but uh, it looks to me like it could have been a Illuminati sacrifice ritual the challenge of disaster one of the teachers called Krista and they had it to where like just like with 9-11 where they show you like psychic driving in, over, in repeat in the media keep showing like the towers going down <gasps> okay like over and over and over again uh, to like traumatize the public it, it, it had the same general impact on people watching it in America the, the children in school, they would pull out like a TV in school and, and, and show the live feed of this uh, in schools and people watching this and they were like shocked and traumatized by it. There was a teacher, Chris something, Christina, Krista, whatever it was, the Christ based name, it was part of it, uh, which, which could uh, fulfill like the, uh, they'd like to play games with, with names and things like this. So basically, the, the two solid rockets, okay, which are based like oversized border rockets, simplified. There were two ones on the side. The one in the middle, the big one is liquid, it's oxygen. Uh, and the two white ones on the sides are solid rockets, okay? Like a border rocket where it has like powder packed in there and it's burning at a certain rate to give thrust. Uh, and what happened after they broke off and operated on the ground push the button to explode them, okay? Because they were still go like flying and somebody at the ground had a remote control. This is not a conspiracy, they admit to this what happened. So after the disaster happened, somebody, an engineer, technician in NASA, 
pushed the button to blow up these two rocket boosters that were spinning wildly in the air. So obviously they had the ability to do that. How do you know they didn't have like a hand grenade uh, igniter, like the fuse inside of the uh, remote, uh, understand, some kind of a miniature bomb to just ignite the, the, uh, the oxygen in there that they had in there. And they push a button, just like they push a button to walk the solid state rockets, they had that inside of it. So they push one button, one, two, three, push one button, when you had this fireball. And then later on, they put they blow up the other ones. And that could also be used as a red hang if something would bust that. We could detect signals that match, like, a, uh, how you set off an explosion or something like this. It could be like, well, yeah, because we blew up the two rocket boosters, and then maybe that's what they picked up on the head. Maybe, yeah, you could hear like, do, 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 before the explosion, like this. Whatever the thing would be, it could serve that purpose too. Uh, so I, I, I'm starting to, to uh, think that this could have been a little more ritual like that level was. As, and it created a natural trauma as part of it, traumatized the public. So the official story is all rings due to the temperature shrunk or came loose and there was fuel leaking from this one, the one in the middle, ignited by the other ones and whatever. It's like the whole thing got, it's like a Molotov cocktail or something like this. Where it's support, like if you would have like a, if you would have like a glass bottle with a wick and oil in it and you light it and it's like burning a little bit all the time. If you throw it on the wall, it all ignites at the same time. That's what happened. So it's supposed to be like a control burn, where it's like burning a, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and, and uh, using up the fuel. But it all is set on fire at the same time. And I think this could have been on purpose. And uh, part of like these sick bastards is like they probably wanted them to remain conscious. Just like they, 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 they when they planned to, to blow up the towers and all that, they knew people were going to be burning to death inside the towers and jumping and like choking to death, things like this. Uh, that's part of, of, of uh, how they did 9-11. And a lot of people are so fearfully, intellectually, cowardly, that they, they are afraid to even entertain truths like this. That's part of what keeps them from accepting it, because they're fearful. People are cowards. They don't, don't underestimate the cowardice and stupidity of the general public and the wickedness. Where it's like, part of why people don't accept truth is because they, most people don't care, give a shit about the truth. They're looking to have the biases, like what they already believe confirmed. That's how most people operate. So they don't want to believe Santa Claus isn't real. They don't want to believe like LOP from the three that politics is fake and doesn't matter who wants to go and Trump is not gonna save us all. Okay? They don't want to believe that. They don't want to see the world as being as evil and corrupt and wicked as it already is. They're too cowardly. It's intellectual cowardice where they're afraid to accept the truth. They fear like to have the whole world turned upside down. They can't handle it. And the ego too, Richard Gage talks about this. They talked about the ego. It's like it's easy to, to fool people into quiz and then be fooled like the more kind court. Richard Gator talked about this, why it's so hard for people to accept this. And he talks about how it's like the ego. So that's me telling Ed Nana what's inside job or, or it doesn't matter who you vote for. It's his ego. You, you have to be like admit to him being a fucking dude who's six years old and never figure out that what this young would be sniper figure out for 30. That is like understand it's a low value trait to be deceivable, dumb, ignorant lacking wisdom and knowledge. That's a low status thing. It's like, it's, it makes you less than, understand? There's a, a young man come to tell you the truth and you, you've been deceived. It's like, if he was 60 and I come to tell him, hey, Santa, I said, I see uploading videos, Santa Claus is coming to town and I'm waiting for Santa Claus. He lives in Antarctica and I'm, I'm hope I'm put up hold for him uh, and to have him feed him and I hope to see the reindeers when Santa Claus comes. He's 60. And then I come like, hey, uh, I hate to break it to you, but Santa isn't real. And it's like, no, 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 Santa is real. And it will, it will, his ego had to take a, 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 a bruising to be admit to be like, okay, I've been deceived my whole life. I'm accepting the truth he told me. Okay. So part of it is like the ego. And also what I see as being a significant part of it is the fear, intellectual fear. Where it's like, you're telling them the world is a lot more scary and evil than you currently believe that it is. So it's like, if I tell the truth, like, that would be scary. It's like, my government murdered 3,000 people on 11 and there's no evidence these people have stopped controlling, like the Patriots Illuminati. They're still running the show. 
they might pull something else off and they're, 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 they're it's scary okay so it, it's cowardice that's part of it people are afraid to accept this truth uh, I'm not going to be sad if it's some kind of troll in the chat I give you that to treat. Okay, no, it's my girlfriend. Uh, honey, I'm at shop now. I'm ordering some food. Okay, babe. I'm decoding the universe. And I, 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 we, we talk later. What, what are you going to eat now? What type of food will you eat? Do you have... Uh, do you have... A, you can show me later. You don't have to tell me now. But you can, you can show me a picture. Send me a picture or message of your food. I'm curious to know what you're going to eat or what you are eating when you are better uh, so we're gonna look at this and I'm I have opened an investigation of this being an Illuminati sacrifice ritual okay like a controlled event like a fo a fo uh, just like a 9-11 type event where they plan this in advance as a ritual So basically simple could be that you just put a catalyst charge inside of the main, like the uh, liquid oxygen. Okay, like a hand grenade has a fuse in it. We have a, a, a hand grenade, it's like a ball like this, and it's inert, it, it can't go off freely. You can throw it at stuff and it's not going to blow up. But you screw in the fuse in it, and you have like the spoon on the side of it, and it's, you pull it, and then the spoon goes out, and you throw it. Um, it's like military grenades. So they have a little thing that they screw into. Like so that, that could be enough to set the whole thing off. I want to something that small, somewhere inside of the tank. No, and then it only it's remote controlled, and it could be electrical, where it's not. It's like it's it's remote control. You push it just like they had a way to blow off these solid rocket rockets. They they pushed the button and it blew up, okay. So they could have something like that inside of the uh, the uh, liquid oxygen, and to cause this explosion, it'd be like a one, two, three. So they admitted it to blowing up two of them remotely, and they could have blew up the uh, main one remotely. And a lot of these NASA magicians, they use like the occult, like Artemis and whatever. They they have they have the little numerology and and, and names in there. And they all also use that for the agendas where they send female astronauts into space. As I said, this maybe next time they be a black transgender woman or something like this in space. And uh, who's uh, the Greta Thunberg, maybe you can send Greta Thunberg into space and a black transgender woman. Okay. And, and they show that on TV because it's like publicity. Look, these people go to space. Uh, Did you know that the space shuttle Challenger astronauts survived the explosion? Okay, I watched this video the other day, um, and it wasn't that video that made me understand this, but I watched that the other day, yesterday, and he talked about this. So, uh, the explosion wasn't super powerful. It wasn't like it, it was an explosion. It was more like a flash fire of liquid going off. Understand? like a mortal cocktail or something like this. It doesn't have this like high impulse, high explosive effect where it's like poof, crazy like a shock wave, really. It can be more like of a soft like push, if anything. It's like just falls apart and, and, and it falls off. The cockpit fell off. Um, New copy found better quality. We're not gonna play too much of this, we're gonna look at it a little bit. And I've seen zooming footage, we can actually track the cockpit falling uh, to Earth in real time. And it's highly possible that they survived it, that the astronauts survived it. The question is if they were conscious or not. Now somebody was conscious after, after the uh, cockpit broke off. The evidence indicate that because somebody has been turning controls Manipulating controls inside of the uh, inside of the, the uh, cockpit. Okay. Now they could have survived that by just making it a little bit better. So maybe they wanted to die. 
This could have been like a Clinton administration sacrifice. It was, it was Clinton or Reagan, whoever it was. But this could be like a sacrifice, a kind of like Waco or something like this. This could have been a sacrifice where they wanted to sacrifice people. And it's like, let's just blow up. I'm not joking. A lot of people believe that it died instantly. So here you can see the, uh, what do we call this, the space airplane, okay. Here is the big tank with oxygen in it, I think liquid oxygen. And then they have solid state, solid rocket boosters, like a New Year's rocket or like a ball rocket. Like it has a solid, like kind of like, it, it's a solid rocket, it's not liquid. So the two white ones on the side, they're solid, and the one in the middle is liquid. And they're saying that it was the liquid one, the big one in the middle that started leaking. And I think this could be planned in advance like a sacrifice. Like looks like the spacecraft itself is assisting with three uh, like, uh, like jet exhaust here unless it's like some metal that's reflecting light here and it's gonna happen right on here 411 here see you can see here there's a fire there Okay, now that could be a, like a thermite, nano thermite pack that they put on there, melting away at the, uh, uh, the oxygen uh, tank that you're seeing right now. They put, it could be even like a time that it was on a timer, okay, or it could be remotely ignited. It could be like thermite, and right now it's working to melt its way into the into the, uh, it's kind of like you can see squibs on 9-11 footage, it's like, it's like right in front of you, a lot of the things that they do, and just tell you what you're seeing, and then a lot of people accept what being told that they're looking at. Okay, here the O-rings are starting to come loose, and it, it could be that right now they have a thermite charger working to melt a hole in the main tank, understand? And once it, it, it melts through, it could be kind of like a small thermite, nano thermite charge. And it's working to melt the hole in it, and eventually it, 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 it uh, breaches the tank and up, it goes on flames. Look here, you can see fire here. And here, the, here. And you see one of the rockets there with spy. I want to see if I can see the cockpit. There's a rocket. Okay. This looks like it looks like two horns. This looks like something round, almost like a head with two horns on it. And here the rocket spinning out of control. And at some point in time, a technician at on, on ground pushes a button to uh, blow them up. These two rockets here. That could be the cockpit, possibly. Could have contrailized it onto the ground, I don't know. One of these things is the cockpit. So, if they survived all the way until hitting the water, 
they died like instantly, pretty much as, as quickly as the people in the submarine, the implosion. If it's like in a submarine implosion, no. It, it would impact the wall, it's like hitting concrete or something like this. It, it's like driving 200 miles per hour into a concrete wall with your car. You know, even if the car would made so hard that it doesn't like break, like a tank or something like this, still like the rapid deceleration, the opposite of acceleration, meaning the brake, like braking so fast, it's like it will, it will negative, like the G forces generated inside of the negative G forces, I think it's called. The G forces inside of this will, will kill people. Like, if nothing else, your brain will crash against the inside of your skull. Like, at, at such a speed, you'll be knocked out and then you'll die. So, if they survived, if one or more of the astronauts were alive and conscious until they hit the water, they would be like instantly, they will die when they hit the water. But they might have been alive until that point, like looking at themselves moving towards the water. Kind of like the jumpers in 9 11 jumping out of the uh, windows and like looking at themselves going towards the ground. They say, This is horrible. Yeah, it's like it's scary for people to accept how evil this world is and what type of people control themselves from behind the scenes. I'm the risk in my life really, resisting that. Okay, I've been hassled in my life resisting that. I mean, they do the narcissistic identity theft where they have fake ones like Julian Assange and people like this. Do the Nazis get into that? But well, like, this guy is risking his life. I see this sometimes. But it's like they're, they're doing the corporate gathering. Um, Scott Snitch is like a corporate copy of me. It's not really a corporate because it's not uh, that accurate. But uh, the, the system does do the Nazis get into that for the large counterfeits to imitate something uh, an original. Um, so, yeah, I've been risking my life fighting against these people. And a lot of people, there are, they, they can't do that because you're, you're too entrenched, too deep in the matrix and you fear death because you're not a Christian, so they, they can get to you, easily they can get to you. Now, you, the ultimate way to liberate yourself is to become a Christian, okay? And then God will start working to build you up and edify you and work to to uh, get you to do what he wants to do that kind of guys. If you become a Christian, that's when you wake up from the matrix and the same is his power over you. They lose control over you. The Illuminati lose control over you, power over you. Now, you are the purchase possession. They don't own your control anymore. I'm a Christian, which means God is my master. And I'm free. I've been brought free. Now, it's like the, the Jews that left Egypt. I'm out of Egypt. The lost world is still in Egypt. Uh, I don't feel like I have the flu anymore, okay? So I woke up this morning having the flu and vomiting, and I've been active live for many hours, and I feel like I kicked out already. That's how I feel. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. I keep up there and there, possibly. If it comes back, like, in tomorrow when I wake up in the morning again, I don't know. But uh, I don't feel like I have the flu anymore. I, okay. I feel a little bit off kilter. Uh, like, maybe I like have to read the whole workout or something like this, but I, I don't feel... I got the flu. So I woke up with the flu and uh, I'm okay. No. God has been helping me out. And uh, I'm gonna keep fighting, and God can help me to to do whatever it is that He wants me to do on Earth. Most people are ready to be unplugged. My channel is for people that are already unplugged. That will be very, very interesting. Or people that are wanting to be unplugged. You need to believe the gospel and become Christians before it's too late. 
believe the gospel and become a Christian. It's not in addition to believe the gospel. If you believe the gospel, you become a Christian, a child of God. No. Until then, Satan will have control of you, more or less. They will have influence over you. You are a child of Satan until you get saved, until if and when. Side is still extraordinary thanks to God and the competition like Penguin Bitch is still mediocre because Satan's guys like Penguin C. Satan was the most pros the, the most mediocre man to prosper in this world. Okay. That's how it works. To hide people like me away from the world because it's like that's part of it. Like you can't have mediocre people be big if if extraordinary people on the same playing field are hidden away from people. It's, it's not non conducive that I'm being able to have these mediocre men be shell sponsors and be big on YouTube and things like this. No. So they had to cheat, they had to hide away from the world. And, uh, yeah, it's a rigged system. It's rigged from, it's rigged, it's a rigged system. It's a real system. What is he gonna profit, profit Penguin Bitch? That he gained the whole world and lost his soul. What will he give in exchange for his soul? He's gonna be fine in the lake of fire. Just like Joe Rogan and everybody else. And they're not going to help because they're gained the whole world. They're going to help because they didn't believe the gospel. Jerogan can keep believing he's a monkey, like really, like that, that, that his man is an animal, thing this. or he can accept the truth that he's a human being, okay, and he's in the line of Adam. Uh, all human beings have a common ancestor, and it's not Lucy, it's Adam. For as in Adam, all die. You remain in the line of Adam, meaning you, you remain a lost person. No. Oh. You're going to die, suffer the second death. Go to the lake of fire. Like the, uh, the Eminem Lil Wayne song, I'm ready to go, I could die now, be burnt. Hop up in my spaceship and leave earth. And my soul is going to heaven. And I do know what they don't want to tell you. I do know the E61 MSG is bad for you and ask for time too. I talked about that on my side too, probably before the world's report. That scientists started to think maybe as for time is bad for you. Okay, this is one of the things I was warning people about for a long time. Um, it's like fake, it's fake science. They're pretending to be reporting pertinent, like relevant facts to the media. But you want to hear true science and groundbreaking stuff and the cutting edge stuff you should listen to the Mike's Eye YouTube channel. Oh. Whatever. Like Noah, I've been on YouTube. I've been a public person out in public speaking the truth and not a lot of people have responded to it. Okay. I've been preaching the truth for a long time, teaching a lot of things. Most people claim to be Christians that have been responding to it. Oh, and, and the world. And that's how it is. But it's like I've been doing what God has for me to do. And uh, I keep doing that. Come on.